What's good with my ninjas? Anime Analyst here with a quick news update for Naruto Storm 4. Now, with all the Japanese Expo gameplay circulating around, I found some extra gameplay, and with that, it has been confirmed that we're getting two new stages so far for Naruto Storm 4. First stage we're getting is the destroyed Final Valley stage from Naruto and Sasuke's final fight in the Naruto manga. Yes, people. The whole stage is basically a destroyed version of the Final Valley. The statues of Hashirama and Madara are completely destroyed. The stage is basically a floored version of the previous stages that we got in the other games. So, no more statues, no more high, like, it seems like you're high up when you're playing on the, uh, the old Final Valley stages, but this time you're on the ground. There's water, there's a mix of water and, uh, basically ground. And it looks pretty epic in my opinion because you see the statue faces and I don't, is there a face? But you see some statue pieces in the background of the fallen statue. So that is definitely going to be cool. The next stage that we have confirmed to be getting is a new Hidden Leaf Village stage. Yes, it is a more open variation of the Hidden Leaf Village stage. Personally, I hate the Hidden Leaf Village stage that is the default stage for basically Naruto Revolution. I completely despise that stage. So with them getting a new open variation of the Hidden Leaf stage, I personally love this stage because it's more open. It just looks more Hidden Leaf Village. It just embodies the epicness, epicness of the Hidden Leaf Village. So with that being said, when the full game comes out, I definitely think we're going to get a lot more stages than before because you know when they switched from Naruto game to Naruto game, they actually take out stages like there's some stages missing in Revolution that were in Storm 3. So I think with this game, they'll actually implement back all the stages. And also with the trailer, we also saw some stages we'd never seen before. Also from the screenshots, we might be going to Kaguya's Dimension as a stage because I saw a screenshot with her in like a foreign stage. I really didn't know what it meant. I mean... I didn't really know what it was, but definitely there might be potential for each of Kaguya's dimensions to be a stage considering they are vastly different and it would kind of make for a good mix up in terms of Kaguya's stages. Maybe there's stage transitions. We never know. That would be cool to transport between Kaguya's dimension stages. So uh, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Is it Finally, CC2 has implemented some new stages. I'm very proud of them. Uh, we actually needed these stages a lot. And... Hopefully, we get to see more info on how they actually implement the environmental interaction with the stage, wall, running, elemental jutsus. Also, a little snippet of elemental jutsu interaction. I saw this little screenshot from the gameplay that I found. It has been explained by CC2. You get hit by fire, you burn. It has also been stated from this screenshot that if you use electricity the opponent will actually be stunned and i think it also correlates with the water on the stage so if you use a lightning technique on the water i think it actually amplifies like it should on water so with that being said tell me what you guys thoughts down in the comments below do you think they'll actually go big with these stage interactions and stage builds in general tell me what you guys think down in the comments below subscribe for more naruto content and i'm out of here guys peace to order this game right off the bat the game comes out in autumn 2015 now autumn officially starts september 23rd so when you're thinking about the release date it's not coming before september 23rd so just think september 23rd forward so autumn 2015 you pre-order the game you get some early access content and then you get some exclusive content let's go over the early access content so with the early access content you get two playable characters naruto the last and sasuke the last in addition to that, it also comes with a team ultimate jutsu for the